Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Mahar Bader, uh, YouTube channel uh, on the civil engineering uh, education. And uh, I am proud to be sitting with uh, Saudi civil engineer, Dr. Khalid. Dr. Khalid. Uh, Mr. Khalid has been uh, reviewing uh, this uh, manual, which is uh, for concrete uh, construction special inspector and he's been working extremely hard for the last three four days and he just finished uh, the exam and the exam was two parts one part which was drawing reading and the other part which was uh, that was a closed book the drawing reading the other part is an open book where he uses uh, the information here so if he was asked a question about any subject Okay, uh, he has to go through his uh, notes here to know where is the answer. Could be here, could be here, it could be here. So the subject of the question may be uh, scaffolding, it may be uh, consolidation, it may be vibration. So, so actually, what Khalid did over the last uh, few days is to your, uh, in, transform this from a huge manual which even I'm scared to look at it to a usable dictionary for civil engineers and of course this is his book so he will have it in his office so if he has a, if somebody ask him a question he can easily refer to it so I am giving him the hard time of studying and going the exam but I want we want to know his experience during this process of studying this and going through the exam today. Thank you, Khalid, for uh, being with us. Welcome, uh, Dr. Amar. Actually, I was glad just finishing this course during my break in three days. That's so beneficial course. Actually, I was looking for this course two years back to have it. Definitely got the chance to have this course. I'm proud of this moment. And this course actually, will, um, how important it was for the engineer or how crucial it is. Actually, in the field, will be uh, sometimes challenged with some questions or some decision that you brought to your desk. You need to evaluate it and you need to have a decision on it. And this decision has to go with uh, a, a reliable standard. So you can have a mature and reliable decision. Because this decision will impact the progress, will impact the schedule, and so on. Especially when it comes to quality, you have to be a sound guy. You need to have your statements aligned with a standard or reference. And this variety of standards here is so beneficial. Started with concrete placement, hot weather concreting, cold weather concreting, that actually will uh, enlarge our insight from the field point of view. So we can expand our experience. Actually, in different projects from area to area, especially in Kingdom, uh, especially mass projects, you'll find yourself is, uh, in, in, in a need to know what to do, with, what to plan for the uh, hot weather concreting. And the other areas is the opposite especially in the Saudi Arabia. You need to plan for the code with the concrete. You need to evaluate whatever your uh, service provider or supplier of concrete is providing to you in terms of the uh, type of admixture, in terms of the uh, type of cementitious material. You need to know what you have is really uh, the right material that will help you. It will not end up having a problem or causing you a uh, severe problem in the quality point of view and the, uh, the items that you have. So in, in normal conditions, uh, I mean, engineers talk to each other and trans, uh, share information. Here you have another fair, trusted uh, uh, book that will give you the information. Yeah. But Khaled, explain to me about the exam. How was the exams, uh, like the uh, drawing reading exam? Or the uh, to me, I like the most the drawing part. You like the drawing reading? The drawing part, yes. The drawing yeah. part, I like it the most because you really need it. Mm. It's not that uh, easy process, and it's not difficult for one the other way. You need to have hands on it, and you need to know uh, how it's being interpreted. You need to interpret that. Uh, okay, how did you get the, How did you get the confidence of answering the drawing reading, even though uh, the manual doesn't talk too much about uh, the drawing that we gave you at the exam? Yeah, actually, I'm comparing this to my experience. Oh, you are using your experience. Yeah, my experience plus some hints just yeah. there and here. Uh -huh. Like how to do the sectioning, how to know the uh, uh, some terminology there. Mm -hmm. That will make uh, a smart or uh, quick terminology. But you have experience of drawing reading before, or not? 
Yeah, I used to instruct in the uh, field. Some people come here with the minimum drawing reading experience on the field. And, uh, uh, but this one does have uh, parts which talks about the, st the steel, bending steel, and the hooks, and the hooks, and the degree of the hooks, and the filaments, and the yeah. Okay, now most of the guys that took the exam before, which is a three hour exam for the, this 80 questions for this one, which is the open book. They were uh, answering uh, 40 or 50 questions in the first two hours, two and a half hours, and then they become really convinced and they don't know what to do because they cannot find the answer. Yeah. So I think the way you are working with the exam is at the beginning, you always find the answer. You know what it is. Yeah. Then you have 20, 30 questions you where you don't find the answer. You have to use your logic, right? Yeah, sure. But look, sometimes really we were discussing. Uh -huh. Myself and uh, Orlando, we were discussing about some point. Uh, these points, when you discuss with them, they will be uh, in the back of your mind. You remember the point of having this, the point of having this requirement. Mm -hmm. So I, did, I never forget them. Uh, so some, at the end, you have to use uh, yeah. some of the memory. To me, maybe 30% of what I've answered, I never refer to the book. I just remember it. And it works. And it works fine. Yeah. Of course, the passing grade for this exam. I think there is two exams here. The drawing reading is passing alone, and the, the written the eighty questions here are passing alone. I think it's seventy percent, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, nobody can take this course before you also pass the field testing technician uh, grade one, which you took when? This one in November, the last scheme. Now, what was your experience? Now, I. Because most people who want to take this course think that that course is not useful. Was it useful? Actually, it's useful to some point for those people who are, for, for mainly for technicians. No, I'm talking for you, not as for, a junior. For, for myself, it's important, but it's not as important as this course. You know, I know, but it does, it does open like, it does give you an idea of the objective of the ACI, you know, idea of the importance of uh, uh, the technician level to be qualified so that we don't get into trouble later. Well, yeah, sure, to have reliable uh, test, yeah. test reports. Actually, we figured out some mistakes mm. in the stump test itself. Mm. Like this simple practice for running or running. Mm. Maybe 80% of the people in the battle. Mm. It's good that you have this experience so you can really guide people. Mm. So we course. are discussing this, and uh, tonight, uh, uh, tomorrow is the Saudi Arabia National Day. Sure. And uh, maybe outside there is uh, fireworks, but we are sitting in the office talking about concrete. So I hope uh, uh, this doesn't uh, make you feel sorry for us. We're happy. The important thing is to be happy. Happy with what you're doing because any anytime you benefit then you benefit yourself and you benefit your country and you benefit your family and it's your brain fun. stay away. Hmm? To me, it's a minus fun. Yeah. That's it's, no, I mean, to me, it, for you, this is a start because now the second step, I would like you to become quality control manager. Now, quality control manager has nothing to do with this, but in this direction, there is still another course which is called transportation inspector, which is very similar to this except it adds a lot of things we took out, they took out from here, like filing, they took it out from here, uh, pre-stressing, post-tensioning, uh, they took them out from here, road, uh, concrete uh, road, they took them out from here. So that one is uh, called uh, Concrete Transportation Inspector. And that is a very easy course. Anybody who took this and passed this course did not have difficulty going through the Transportation Inspector. And I can go as much as saying you don't even need to take the course with me. You can actually read it on your own. And there's a very good chance you pass it for transportation. You don't have to sit like you said You can just take this book, which is a transportation, it's as big as this one. Half of them is the same. One half of it is similar. The other half is those extra materials. I don't know about the filing and, uh, and uh, bridges. So thank you very much, Khaled. I thank enjoyed you. having you, and uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you again in another YouTube, guys. Thank you.